Yo, 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 what it is, what's poppin', gang, man? She bought Kweezy, man. They gave Kweezy some motherfuckers dope, you hear me, man? Pressure busting all you bitches fight, you hear me, man? Yo, what it is, what it do, man? What's poppin' with it, man? Hey, man. Today I got something new, bro. Today I just wanna talk a little bit, man. I'm gonna have a little small session with you guys, man. And just talk about um my bachelor weekend this weekend, bro. I went to New Orleans, man. Um, just pretty much was on Bourbon and Canal Street, just having a good time. I'll have a few clips that I'll upload with you guys so you guys can go and see it as well. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna tell you all about the weekend, man, and tell you exactly how it went. I'm gonna have a little bit of bud left, man, from New Orleans when I had some. I had, I brought like maybe like about eight to nine grams out there, but that didn't last me, knowing how I was smoking and rolling, man. I was rolling like, like yeah, I was just going with it, bro. You know, I got a little bit left over, man. I still got some other shit in the house. I got like three different strands, but this is some shit from Louisiana right here. The bud was pretty good, man. All I, I can say one thing though, for sure. Man, everybody smoked the same shit, bro. But the thing is, it's like, I'm gonna tell y'all one thing too. If y'all go to New Orleans and you ain't got no weed, I guarantee you gonna find some. There's no problem with finding some in New Orleans. I promise y'all, for anybody that, you know, haven't been or, like damn, if I'ma find some, yeah, then you gonna find some. You gonna most likely find on Canal. Um, you will get it on Bourbon, but I would mostly get it from one of the guys on Canal. That's who I got from. There's also a weed on wheels, so it's like a little truck, and you can go ahead and uh, get you your actual THC. And as I know, they don't sell no Delta Eight no CBD. The only way you will find the Delta Eight or CBD is if you go into the vape shop next to uh, what is it? I think it's next to Voodoo. Well, my well, my mistake is called a Voodoo spot on Canal. Yo, next to them, you better get your, you know, your CBD or your Delta 8. And they got some fresh bud. I ain't, no, I ain't gonna lie to you. For the people that can't really smoke the THC, they got some fresh CBD up in there, man. I had uh, one of my guys who can't really smoke the THC, man, and uh, ended up getting a 3.5 or some uh, CBD. And to be honest with you, that shit smelled like some gas. It looked like gas, smelled like gas. It was, I think it was, uh, what was a strain name he had? Yeah, one that was a Blue Dream. And he had another one that was something. It was like a uh, a hybrid. That bitch, that was pressure. Like I didn't hit it, but the thing is, like if you can smell some CBD strong like that, man, and it's and it's like smelling like some fucking actual THC bud. Like that shit ridiculous. I'm just breaking down and rolling up, man. Watch who you buy from. Don't just I'm not saying just go out there and just hit up the first person that's trying to sell you something. Though. Don't do that. Um, I went to the Weed on Wheels. They had some $40 uh, eights and stuff, and they had some $60 eights. Um, I obviously got there too late for the $40 eights, so I wasn't tripping, but there's two different price times. During the day, you're gonna get the cheaper, you know what I'm saying? As a tourist, you're gonna get the cheaper prices and shit during the day. When it's hot out, not a lot of people was out. But at nighttime, it's a different price bracket, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna pay a little bit more. You're gonna, um, you gonna pretty much Pay, you gonna you gonna pay for that that nighttime experience, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't pay for no I didn't pay no sixty dollars for no eight. I guarantee you that, you know. Uh, but everybody, you know, you they'll you, you stick out like a sore thumb if you're not from there or if you're not from Louisiana. Like in the instance, like people will know I'm from Louisiana because of the way I talk. And I mean, a lot of people like to say it's just a certain lingo or a certain uh, way of talking that we have. But I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you hear me? That 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 just tell, that tells a lot right there. But it's the how you say it. It's not, you know, just saying it. Oh, you heard me? You heard me? No, that's not. No, you can easily tell you not from. You know, uh, it's you hear me? Yeah, straight like that. Uh, it's just different shit. But like I said, people will try you. Other, you know, people. Two people did try us while we was out there. It was just four of us. Uh, me and three of my guys, man. Uh, 
we was out there. I, I mean, they try, they try you. The reason I'm, what I'm meaning, like, if you walking, somebody will like literally walk up behind, like walk behind you, not like act like they're not paying attention, supposedly. And then once you stop, they gonna stop. Well, with that being said, there was one instance where we was walking to, I think, the casino, the Harris Casino, and there was this guy who uh, kept on following us. He was a guy in a muscle shirt with some dreads. You know, uh, you know, regular, a regular, smegular, you know, old guy. I'm pretty sure I know for a fact he's from there. Um, he, he stopped. He walked. He got behind us. You know, what I'm saying. We at first I, I I ended up falling on point because at the end of that, some told me in the back of my mind like, um, look behind you. There's somebody that's walking behind you. You feel some type of energy around you that's not supposed to be around. And uh. That's exactly what ended up happening. That's exactly what ended up happening. I had some bad energy around me, man. And uh, I pretty much told my guys, I was like, heads up. And they, they already knew what it was, was on point. Because the guy was walking behind me, so what ended up happening is I should be ended up stopping. I said, yo, let's pause for a second. We all paused, we all stood up and stopped. And I noticed that he ended up stopping the dude behind me. So I was like, all right, let's move again. Once we start moving, he ended up moving again. So all of a sudden, I ended up telling my brother, I was like, I said, I, I said let's space out. You know, you go to one side, I'm gonna get to the other. And that's exactly what ended up happening. He ended up spacing out, and I ended up going to the other side and kept the dude in the middle. So therefore, I ended up turning around, and I asked the dude, I said, man, you got a problem, homie? I said, what's the issue, man? What's the issue? And he didn't say nothing, he just kept on walking. But my thing is, it's people like that you gotta watch out for. You know what I'm saying? They got a lot of shites, they motherfuckers, a lot of shady people, man, out there that's try to like steal from you, that's gonna try to like, you know, do anything to try to like get at you, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be, I'm keeping a stack with you. I had my shit on me at all times. I seen one dude get locked up because he, I think he was flaunting and showing his gun around and shit. But me, I, I, don't, I don't walk around with it, you know, all out and about so everybody can see it, but I do have that motherfucker on me. The whole entire weekend, everybody else, you know what I'm saying? They had theirs in their bag on the room. I had my shit on me. I ain't playing with no nigga, man. At the end of the day, I, I was feeling naked without it, so I had to bring it, I had to keep it. But other than that, man, the good part about everything is, we, um, we had a couple of faults, man, like the, the, the the Airbnb we had, we had to go ahead and request our money back because we get there, it's filthy that you guys, it's dirty, man. Um, the, the sheets on the, in the hallway and the ground, the beds were dirty, the countertops, like they still have food on the countertops and shit. Like it was just horrible. It was a hard, it was just dirty as hell. And you, it was like, what the hell? Like I'm not paying for this, so I got my money back. The same, the same exact day, got my money back, ended up. Uh, we had to hurry up and back door and find a, a hotel. We had to back door and find a hotel. I was luckily, I was lucky to find um, a hotel, the Win the Windham or the Wyndham, however you call it, the Wyndham. I was lucky to get it for a hundred dollars a night, literally a block away from Bourbon, you guys. You know, the Airbnb we had was like 10 to 11 minute drive away, so that means we'd have to drive and park every time we want to go on Bourbon, which was pretty much of a hassle if you think about it but I was actually happier with the hotel I was more comfortable with the hotel um, ended up booking it the same night ended up staying, you know going there and putting our bags on freshening it up and we we, uh, we headed straight out to uh, Canal and Bourbon man uh, me and my brother bro like I said it was, it was, me and my brothers bro we were just having a good time the first night was just me and my one brother bro we just went and the second night was like everybody all the other guys came out the rest of the other guys came out Orders and stuff, man. Uh, you guys will see a lot of crazy shit out there, man. That's not my first time being there, but you guys, for you, you know, for the first time, that's never been, you guys are gonna see a lot of crazy shit. Um, you're gonna see a lot of like people get beat up, uh, like a lot of bums fight with each other, man. It's a lot of fun, a funny shit, but they had somebody trying to steal out of the store. That nigga ended up, uh, just the guy from the store ended up coming chase him down and throwing him on the ground and. 
was no, he was just trying to run away. He was like, no, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. I didn't steal nothing, I didn't steal nothing, I didn't steal nothing. My thing is, the guy won't come at the other store, you know you didn't take nothing. But they obviously know who y'all are, and y'all some bums. And the fact that, you know, he was outside, and he got thrown down to the ground, and, and that literally happened right in front of my feet. Like, I kid you not, I, I thought somebody was, like, getting a gun or something. That's what I really, because it was dark, and I could barely see you guys. Like, when it comes to, when, like, when it gets dark, I need glasses, but I would not wear my glasses. You know what I'm saying? I need glasses to drive, but I still don't wear them. I just paid four hundred and fifty dollars for some glasses, and I still don't even wear them. I don't even wear them. I just have them, just to, you know, just in case. But uh, yeah, so the guy got, you know, ended up getting the products that the guy ended up stealing out of his pockets and stuff. Ended up, you know, getting the guy tamed and stuff. And he let him go, but at the end of the day, he just wanted his his, his stuff. But he did give the guy a good beating down. You know, hey, like, don't come back in my my establishment no more and try to steal no more. But, yeah, man, that's a little bit of it. Um, we did go eat. I ate some real good old Jamaican food, man. That shit was so good, that jerk chicken, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Shout out to you, Miss Lady. Like, you, she knew what she was doing. Like, real Jamaican food, man. Like, yeah, that shit was straight pressure. And I had that bitch for breakfast. Like, I, we went to this, this spot, I think it's called uh, My Mama's House or something like that. Uh, but there's multiple food spots inside of it. And uh, there was My Mama's House where they were telling, like, it's like, you know, traditional, like your eggs, your waffles, your bacon, shit like that. Shit out of ordinary like that. But I wasn't in the mood for, you know, no eggs, no bacon, no waffles. I'm, not every time in the morning I'd be wanting strictly breakfast. And, um, that Jamaican jerk spot was smelling look amazing. The food was looking amazing. The plantains was amazing, bro. The chicken was seasoned perfectly. The rice and beans was done correctly. Yeah, I'm trying to tell y'all, but that shit was some free pressure. Um, what else? End up hitting a couple clubs. End up going to a couple clubs. Um, hit up a few strip clubs. Ended up, I seen a lot of guys get finessed, man. Hey, Amen. I'm telling y'all, y'all go out there, bro. Make sure y'all, y'all don't get finessed by these females, man. I'm telling y'all, bro. They had these guys, man. Girls, they know y'all some easy targets. They know y'all some easy targets. And they know that y'all ain't really been to no strip club. Y'all looking all nervous. Y'all looking all like, like anxious to get a dance or, you know, and it be the most big bootiest bitch up in there that's gonna come get you. And gonna make you feel like you're so important. You know what I'm saying? Gonna, Let's go to the VIP room. Don't worry about the charge. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you get to that VIP, you enjoying your dance and shit. But when that mug over, you better have some money, bro. I'm telling you, but them girls ain't, ain't playing boys about their money, bro. And I seen one dude, man, he got finesse so bad. Like, my, like when I say he got finesse so bad, he did not expect. Like when like, he came back from that VIP uh, VIP room, sweating, sweating. When I say like the it, she put that work on him, put that work on him. I promise you. At that ball, so he come come. It was at the ATM. The guy that he was with was like, uh uh, you gonna come with? It? I need my money. Yada yada. Whoop de whoop. He was like, oh man, he's trying to tell a story on how he got two kids and a wife and this that and the other. Man, they told that nigga look straight up. I don't want to hear that. You know, you wasn't worried about that a while ago. Exactly. And the thing is, right when he was doing that, I was going to the ATM to get some cash out for myself. I just needed some cash. And I already spent my cash at another spot. You know what I'm saying? We done hit up like two, three other strip clubs already. So now I just hit up another one. And I am, to be honest with you, the most I've spun in the strip clubs out there, about 60 to the $80. And that's no private dances. That's just regular throwing some ones. That's just all it is, throwing some ones. I didn't want to want no extra shit. Um, I'll be honest with y'all, the female, I'm, female strippers out there it, is not all that. They not all that, bro. One had everybody gassed up because she was like, you know, acting like she was like the, I think like the sixth dancer to get on stage or some shit like that. And um, she had everybody believing like she was like, like some serious man, straight trash when she got up there, bro. That's that's what made a lot of people leave her. Huh? You know, cause she had everybody believing like she was about to be look, 
top down the street, the coolest and shit. But yeah, other than that, man, strip clubs ain't all that. Um, I mean, it's a good experience for people that you know really want to just get out and just be in a strip club and throw a little money here and there. You know, see a little titty, you know, here and there. That's that's cool. Um, besides that. We, we had we took shots, we drank. So I, I, I consider regular Hennessy like uh, Reggie. That shit give you a massive ass headache. That shit make you feel dizzy, make you feel like not yourself, man. And I wasn't going for it. So I was drinking some regular Crown, you know. The big dog status, regular Crown. Crown, you know, Crown make you want to get down, you know. And uh, it keep you, to me, it keep me focused. It keep me like on point, you know what I'm saying? I'm not like all over the place, like drooping all over, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I know I've been talking so much, bro, but I really want to get this, you know, talk with y'all and get this out. Yeah, man. Shit has really been good. The weed, like I said, the weed was really good. I smoke, like, I smoke damn it every day, bro. Every, every like, like, we was down bourbon. I think I rolled up, like, maybe four or five blunts. Phone rang today. Um, I smoked about four or five blunts a night down on Bourbon, man. I was just rolling up, and I'm not talking about no little paper, no little small ass little blunts. I'm rolling up, I'm rolling. You know what I'm saying? And my weed before I ended up buying, so I ended up buying some the last day, which was um yesterday, which was on um uh, Saturday. I ended up Saturday wasn't the last day, but Sunday was. I ended up buying weed that saturday night and you know because i was running out i maybe had like less than a gram left over in my bag so i needed some more some straight fire you know um i and you could get it anywhere like i said you can also go into one of the, like the little shops like it's like some some weed shops where you can go ahead and get you some but like in one of the vape shops you can uh, go ahead and buy some bud in there, you know what I'm saying? And they got a guy, you know, who's up in there. and he'll, he'll get you some, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you need, there's different prices. Nah, no take. I ain't ever paid $15 a gram or $20 a gram since I since the first time I've ever smoked. And that was back a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? That's when we was kind of a scarce to really find, like, some good shit. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't pay no 15 or $20 a gram. That shit is fucking dead with me. That shit is dead. And I told old dude up in there straight up, like, he told me the strain. I said, hey, I don't deal with, you know, oh, that's gas or not. Let me know the strain. And he was like, oh, I got some runs for $10 a gram. I know that's trash. I don't want runs. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not a runs person. A lot of people out there enjoy and love their runs and shit, but I don't enjoy it. I know that's 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 weak weed, man. That's weak. Um, He had some gelato. And he had like some rainbow something. Boat trash. He's getting phone rang today. Boat some trash. Um, and he got and kind of felt some type of way when I told him I was like, bro, I, I, I smoke shit for a living. Like, I'm not about to come here and just like, oh, yeah, that's some gas. Cause he said that's some gas. No, it don't relate. But. Overall, great time, man, great experience. Besides the little nicks in the road, still made the best out of it. Um, hit up, like I said, we hit up a couple clubs, did a couple things, you know what I'm saying? Got, you know, got some good old food and stuff, man. A lot of, like I said, a lot of people got beat up. They had one dude, he ended up getting uh, snug, man. He ended up getting snug by another, it was some, some homeless people fighting, man. And the whole one homeless guy was sitting down with his woman on the side of him. And I guess he must have said something to the other homeless guy. The other homeless guy came out of nowhere and looked cool right in his jaw. Bow! You heard it. When I see over all the music on bourbon, all the loud, you know, voices and people talking, you heard that bitch look bam! Straight up like that. I was just like, too 
like, yeah, like, straight, look. Made that ball. Look, he was like, like, his girl had to help him stand up, like, because he, like, he was just, he was already sitting down. He had to get up, like, he had to get up because his fucking face was hurting him. I was just like, chew, they wild and not chill. But we was, we stayed out each night till, like, four in the morning. So it was just like, rest what? You know what I'm saying? Ain't time for sleep. I'm going to sleep when I get back home, man. When I go out, man, or whenever I'm, I'm away from home, I try my best to stay out. Like, I ain't trying to sit up in the house or in the room all day or just trying to focus on just food all day. No, man, I want to go out and enjoy myself. I want to see the city. You know what I'm saying? Even though I, that's not my first time being there, it's just like every time, it's just, a, it's just a fun vibe and experience every time you go, you know what I'm saying? But I would say, you know, watch your belongings. That's always, that's something you should always do. Never really carry your wallet. Um, you'd be a fool if you carry your wallet if you, uh, because they, they, they pickpocket a lot out there, man. That's one thing that they absolutely enjoy doing is pickpocketing. So uh, if you got your card or your cash, make sure you carry that shit in your pocket, like deep in your pocket. Don't just have your phone in the same pocket with your cards. In your, um, because I did lose one of my cards this weekend. Um, I'm not complaining about it. Um, I was able to hurry up and cancel it and get it taken care of, and I got the new one coming in, which I'm okay with. But um, I'm just letting y'all know that's it's simple and easy, just like that. Um, I have I normally carry my satchel, and my satchel is where you know, you know, I normally keep my shit at, and I keep majority of everything. My pockets are empty when I go if I, if I go anywhere. My pockets are empty. Because I have a bad fit, I, I I ended up losing my card and I lost a whole, I, I lost a half a blunt, because I had a half a blunt in my sitting down in my pocket, because I had died it out, and when I pulled my phone out, my uh, blunt flew out, and it, I blessed somebody night. I ain't tripping. I ended up giving out two joints as well, to people, man. So um, I was just pretty much giving back too. So because I seen some people that you know like was just looking on the ground, like some some homeless people, they was looking for like some. Uh, roaches on the ground like looking for like you know some little doobies on the ground and shit and i just went up to him i, I just say i just tossed it to him i said hey man here you go brother you know and bless bless somebody today man just make somebody happy bro you know um it was some pre-rolls that i already had and just wanted to pass it out and give it out and they enjoyed it man i passed back they were still smoking on it told me they enjoyed it and they hey you're welcome brother that's all it is but uh yeah, man. I hope you guys, you know, really got something from the video, man. Because like I, I just wanted to come out and do a little quick video with you guys. Record some shit, man. Talk a little shit. Smoke some good gas, you know. Besides that, today I'm really just relaxing. I'm chilling. Um. My legs are sore, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. My calves, well, it's not really my legs, it's really my calves. My calves are like sore than a mug right now, man. Mm. Yeah, but, I do miss you guys, man. Um, a lot of shit, man, been going on lately, but I still have a lot of things tying up. Like I said, I am getting married next month, so. The days are coming like a whole lot quicker than expected, man. It's like really coming. But like I said, I'm really, I'm ready for it to, the actual day to come because planning is like so annoying. It's so aggravating. I already told my my, uh, my fiance, man, I'm ne I'm not ever doing this shit again, bro. My shit just keep dying. But it's some good gas, though. It's gas that you won't find in Texas. That's the one thing I love smoking. Uh, I love smoking by different weed from different places because you get different flavors you get different you know effects you know in different parts you know what i'm saying different parts of the world and different you know different states and shit like that different weed all over like in texas you're gonna get like you know a lot of that og you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a lot of your, your, your exotic shit out you and don't get me wrong you can get that zaja yeah it's all over at you. Texas got that shit from Cali, Colorado. We got all the all the legal states weed out you. You just gotta know who to get it from and who to find it from. Um, I'm not saying you gotta come out here. Um, you're not gonna really get it from like the little small time little dealers. 
the ones who's buying like little half ounces and shit like that and selling a little slang and little half ounces, you gonna get it from the motherfuckers who actually like really like pushing shit, you know what I'm saying? Who really got that, that fire, you got the good connections or people that, you know, yeah, that, that do that shit. But uh, Louisiana, you gonna get more of that like, that, that bubble cook, you gonna get more of your kush out there, you know what I'm saying? You gonna get a lot of your kush out there. Uh, a lot of that bubble, um, a lot of like purpley, like heavy purple strains, like you're gonna get them heavy, you know, purple strains. Um, good highs, you know what I'm saying? Good relaxing highs, get your eyes red, you relax, you chill, you still focus. Um, you're not sleepy though, but that's for one, you're not sleepy. Um, good gas, man, good gas. Uh, yeah. I didn't know that, man. Everything was pretty good, bro. It was that red dress, uh, I'm guessing, awareness weekend. I have no issues, but I didn't care. Um, phone rang to it again. Other than all that, man, I really hope that, you know, you guys are really having a dope ass day. You guys had a dope weekend, man. I really hope that you guys, you know, have a great rest of the week this week, man. Today is Monday, so hopefully I'll try to get this video either done by... Tuesday or Wednesday, man, get this out to you guys, man. If so, bro, please, you know what I'm saying, leave a like on the video, man. Y'all go ahead and subscribe. You're not a subscriber. Y'all already know me, man. I'm going to keep it a stack with y'all. I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it 10,000. I ain't got to sugarcoat nothing. I ain't got to lie about nothing, bro. Um, it just feels good, man, to come out here and just have a good old smoke session, man. It's good to be back home. I'll tell you that for a fact, man. Yeah, it feels good to just be sitting outside in the balcony and just having a good old smoke, man. And just chilling, bro. And it's not every not every time. Like, sometimes I be having time to do videos. And I, and I do be having, like, a lot of... I be having a lot of the time to be doing videos. But sometimes I just be so, like, get tired, man. Like, I be, like, so tired. I be drained from actual work. Like, I don't be having the energy. Like, so I be in my mind. I be, like, I could do this video. I got everything I want to say. Everything I want to talk about. You know all the topics i want to get through but it's just like my body be telling me a whole different story like i'll be glued to the couch and i'll just be chilling and i won't even smoke it i could just be just off of work and just wanting to sit down and just not be balded like i'm saying i'll be having that a lot i don't be wanting to be balded a lot but again really hope this video you know made it to a lot of you guys hope you guys were able to get a little some type of intel out of it man uh and learn something man you know if you guys ever been to new Orleans, man it's a great experience but y'all go ahead and try it out man for the ones who have it man um if you like to party you like to get out you like to drink you like to have fun man like to let your hair down you know you've been working all week man or been working for so many months you just tired you just ready to let the fuck go my nigga man. like you just ready to just chill you just ready to relax you know what i'm saying and i get that you know what i'm saying i totally get that man like take you a little trip man like i said it's not expensive i think the most i've spun out there was it was a hundred dollars for the room it's a hundred dollars a night for the room and we stayed at the uh like i said the the window on uh on Bourbon, man, uh, around the corner from Bourbon, it was like literally, a, it was like literally walking distance. It was like maybe like three to three to four minutes of a walk. Like I said, that's not much. That's not long at all. I didn't even break a sweat. So, um, yeah, so that was pretty good. Uh, the, the hotel was actually better than the Airbnb. Uh, I would say if you guys, I recommend if you guys get an Airbnb, 
check out Airbnbs, look at the location, where is that, how far of a distance it is. If it's driving distance, watch out where you park at, um, because parking, they, they've broken into four people in the lot that we've parked in. They didn't break into ours, but they broke into four other people's vehicles. Um, what else? They put a boot on two people's vehicles. Make sure y'all pay y'all tab to when y'all park. Cause they will they will ticket you and they will boot you. And I think it's what 130 to 150 to get it off. You have to pay for the boot, for the boot to be taken off, and you gotta pay the uh the cover charge of the parking fee where you was parked in. So you gotta pay for all that. So be mindful of that. Make sure you pay your tab. Don't just try to think that you can park and just walk away and they're not gonna tab you. They will. Um or they will tell you. So it's however you wanna do it, however you wanna go about it. Like I said, cool, we to try telling you right here, right now, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, like I said, just have, all in all, have a good time and make sure you find where you stay. Don't just stay anywhere. Like I said, but yeah, y'all go out and y'all have a good time, man. I just want to go ahead and let you guys know exactly my experience, bro. I do thank, you know, my guys for, you know, for coming out and enjoying the time with me, man. Having a great time, man. A great experience. Um, if I had to redo it all over again, what I do it, man, I would absolutely do it again. Because um, it was amazing, man. It was great to be with the people that I was with, man. And, you know, just have a lot of fun, laughter, and it's a good time. So, yeah. Other than all that, man, I love y'all, man. The end of this video, but the blood is really damn near gone. I'm like, spoiling my head. I know I barely, I've been blowing, man. I'm, as you guys can see, I'm still high. I'm lit. I'm, I'm just tired, man. You know, I came straight from there, man, to work, bro. I am fucking tired. Yeah, man, so like I said, it was actually a good time, man. It was a good experience, bro. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I love you guys, bro. Each and every last one of you, man. You guys have a dope-ass day, man. We out from here, bro. See y'all next time. Peace.